Oh my god, how Second did I set of Fuck! Don't call me out! AR. STOP CALLING ME OUT! Me and Chase, me and Chase, oh god, their whole team! <laughs> How is my team not taking B while I've got half their team occupied back there? Hello there, minions! It's Wheezy. We're back in Modern Warfare 2, and today... I'm going to take you through using the Tempest Torrent in some games. I've got it ranked up all the way. This is the new Marksman Rifle from the new Season 2? Season 2? I've got it set up for the build that I like on it, and I figured rather than bringing you along as I rank up a weapon and kind of play around with it, I'll bring you along with one that I've already ranked up, and we'll go through using the build for it. So I'll jump out of the way here real quick and show you my build. So this is my build for the Tempest Torrent. Um, what this gives you is kind of what I think are the important aspects of it. So um, for me, the two main things that you need from a good weapon in Modern Warfare 2 are a decently fast ADS speed, depending on the type of weapon, right? So for weapons that are that need to be ADS, that are meant to be more up close, they need to be aiming down sights faster. A marksman rifle, this still needs to be pretty snappy, but it doesn't have to be maximum ADS, since you're going to be typically engaging at longer distances. But then you also need idle stability, so that when you're aiming at longer distance, the reticle isn't waving around a ton, because what that will do is throw your shots off uh, and slow down your targets at longer range. So you want that kind of lower... Um, and then also lower recoil so that you get faster follow-up shots. So that's kind of the balance I've gone for here is aiming down sights quickly, getting on target quickly, good follow-up shots, and not too much sway. So let's uh, take this and jump in some games and have some fun with it. Something important to keep in mind is that this will not just suddenly... Um, make this a better, <laughs> a, a more competitive weapon in general. Marksman rifles are going to be underpowered versus more versatile weapons, especially like assault rifles. You just got to kind of make do with what you got. Uh, I'm going to be using my standard loadout with this, which is fast hands, bomb squad, battle hardened, and quick fix. Drill charges, flash grenades, dead silence, and my portable cover. So yeah, I just in general, with Call of Duty games or shooter games in general, I like being able to use all of the different weapons. Um, and so I'm kind of down the down the road on some of the weapons that I've been less excited about. Um, although this is a new weapon. Nobody's going. Well, a couple of people are going, right? Uh, so yeah, but I like, I like the variety. Nope, thank you. <laughs> being able to try things out. Guy standing there, guy up in that window. We're gonna go ahead and go the other way. I could try and challenge that, but I'll be at a huge disadvantage in both of those spots. Alright, they're gonna be pushing there. Woo! Jumping fools! Jumping fools! Heal up a little bit before I go over there again. <sighs> this is uh, obviously not going to be a great map to be using a marksman rifle, but honestly, that's one of the things that I love about using different guns in Call of Duty is it pushes you out of your comfort zone to try using particular weapons outside of their uh, outside of their strong suit. Nope, missed that throw. Someone's pushing up from behind. Bad shots. Someone's coming around behind. What? I heard you. Oh, he's up top. Let me get myself right. The hard point's over there. We should really be moving to defend that. Excuse me? The fuck? Wow! What a little sliver. Actually, 
actually. Since the teammate's already on that, we'll go ahead and give one of these. They are not pushing this hard point, really. You gonna come around? Alright. Try and move over. That guy's still gonna be sniping over here. Let's see if we can get a flank on. I knew he was back there. I saw that other guy. Ugh. Throwing drill charge. Try and anticipate him coming that way. Is the guy gonna be coming up top? These guys don't even realize it's hard point. <laughs> well, they don't care. Did they leave? Assist! Eat a dick. Nobody down there, huh? Don't follow me up here. They coming up? Chilling up here. I thought people were gonna be pushing here. Switching no. I'm gonna go under and around. Uh oh. Footsteps to the left. And the guy back. Bad spot to beat. Still quite a bit of recoil on that. Can we get rid of that, thanks? What? Four doesn't do it? Four shots from a deagle will do it. This is a fucking battle rifle. A marksman rifle. You got them both, huh? Gotcha, buddy. Oh, Captain Jumpy Chump. Pushing that side. They're gonna definitely be watching the middle. I don't want to be out here. Don't want to be sprinting through here because they'll hear me. Hostile UAV in the Slow, too slow. Picking it up a little bit. Here we go. No, thank you, sniper. No, 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 no. I was looking for you, and then your buddy jumped around. Uh, always get distracted by the second guy. Uh, that guy wasn't paying attention. You should have easily won that. Those were terrible shots. He should have easily won that. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Didn't think he was coming that fast. Giggity. What? 
Well, that wasn't super satisfying, but... Had some ups and downs. Bottom of the team, although I had the most time on the hard point. I felt like I wasn't playing the hard point very, very hard at all. Insane. Yeah, as far as marksman rifles are concerned, what do we got to compare this thing with? SAB, so like the SAB, SPR, like these Lockwood even, these reasonably one-hit kill marksman rifles, just better, more fun. The TAC-M, the LMS, those are a lot closer to this one where it's more about the, the one-shot headshot or the decent follow-up shots. And so the semi-auto marksman rifles, are fun in their own way, but in the way that you are automatically an underdog using them. Honestly, even at medium and long range, you're better off with an assault rifle because getting the recoil on those weapons, especially if you build them as well as you can build these, is less, right? So you can put 12 shots at long range on target with an assault rifle more easily than you can put two shots on target with a marksman rifle. This is the way it is, and you don't honestly benefit that much from the extra power unless you hit that one shot headshot. That's just, you just lose, you're just gonna lose more of those fights. Ooh, I got lucky there. Just see how that first shot was right on, but then the second, third, fourth shots, they were bouncing around, even with reduction in recoil. Right? It's just, it bounces more than an assault rifle. It's just gonna be harder consistently to get killed. So the marksman rifle is actually more effective at close to medium range, where those follow-up shots will still be on target, than at longer ranges, where the recoil is gonna drive you off. S ironically. Mm, that was me. I pulled that. That wasn't recoil. Woo! A little bit of little bit of luck on the recoil on those. That's why you want to keep the the recoil down, the aiming idle stability pretty stable on that, because it gives you a better chance of hitting those follow-up shots. The aiming idle stability alone will pull you off target. This is not one of my favorite maps. God, did I kill them both? I didn't even, I couldn't even, what? I think the other guy got upstairs. He might be up there. This guy's still sitting down here? No. What the fuck? I was looking up there. Just peeked out. Here, guy. There could be two mates. What the f- Really? That's the kind of shit that d that only happens- Well, not doesn't only, but it happens a lot in Team Deathmatch. Sniper's just sitting back, waiting for people to walk by. I saw you up there. See? Like an assault rifle. Just gonna be better every time. Doesn't do good to spawn with fucking ghosts on when your teammates also spawn next to you. What a bad, bad. Why are we still spawning here? No thanks. <laughs> I'm not interested in continuing to play that game. And that's what you guys should do more often. If you want to have more fun with Modern Warfare 2, be willing to leave when bullshit like that happens. The spawns on that map, especially when you get backed into that corner, no. It's just going to keep spawning me in the line of sight of the chopper gunner over and over and over again. No thanks. It's like almost a good map, but then they added a bunch of shit on either end. And then they make you spawn there half the time. I feel that's one of the maps where I feel like I get put in timeout. Where I spawn in that same spot 
five, six, seven, eight, ten times in a row. And it feels like fucking punishment. It feels like being put in timeout. I've been using so many marksman rifles in this, I haven't even I haven't even really done much with any of these other ones. Other than basically ranking up the individual weapons, I've given up on most of the other unlock trees in Call of Duty because this game has been kind of built around the obsessive no life grinders. Not not to like be offensive to those people, which is fine if this is your game and you play it tons and tons and tons. Cool. I'm glad that there's a bunch of stuff there for you. But for people like me, who get to play a few hours a week, you know, maybe an hour a night, if I'm not playing another game, I'm never going to unlock most of this shit. And so it's no fun even trying. So I'm just trying out the different weapons until the game leaves me behind. <sighs> Not the best shots in the world, but I never would have lost that fight with an assault rifle. And good luck jumping around like a moron using a marksman rifle like this anyway, right? It's just fundamentally built for a playstyle that this game... I don't know. I wouldn't say punishes. This game is... This game is trying to make slow down the gameplay. Sort of. Like, they've done a lot of weird shit with, like, how ghost works and how, like, weapon attachments work. But then they won't do the, the very simple things that would actually make the game more tactical and slow it down. Like, making it so that you have do not have accurate fire, or that you can't shoot while jumping, right? If you just couldn't shoot while jumping, or your accuracy was basically hip fire accuracy even after you aim down sights within two seconds one one and a half seconds after you jump so you jump and even if you aim down sights you have hip fire level accuracy for a, a full second then people would stop abusing that mechanic and making like oh we want to slow the game down make it more tactical but assholes can still jump around the corner with smgs and spray you down so what is it you want to slow it down or you don't like, pick a side, honestly. Like, if you want people jumping around corners like morons, fine. Make, make, you know, do the infinite warfare thing and give people fucking jump packs and shit like that. If you want to make it tactical, then fucking make it tactical. Don't, don't do this hybrid bullshit where it's just frustrating. Oh, is it worth going up there to get that? Huzzah! Teammate didn't even turn around in all of that gunfire. My teammate didn't even turn around to shoot that guy. Wait, he, yeah, he's prone. He's prone up there. Excuse me, please. That's another thing that they did that's weird. It's like they make it so your second jump isn't as high as your first jump. Which just makes you tard jump a lot of times when I'm trying to get over like a wall. If I don't grab it on the first time, which is usually the game's fault, not mine, then I'm just there jumping at it like, Ugh, can I get up, please? And it's like, no, you fucking can't. So what is it? You're discouraging jumping or you're discouraging the third jump? It's just like, what the fuck are you doing? They're in the lead. They still haven't fixed these stupid fucking audio cues. All this time, and they still haven't fixed- they're just backwards. It should be pretty straightforward to fix that. It's just reversed. Just switch the fucking wave file or whatever the fuck it is. Whatever the recording file name is, just reverse it. What happened to that guy? Oh, I guess only one of those shots was on. I felt like that was both hits. Around back 
side. And those shots high. Not looking good. Oh! You can, you can have the discipline to pace those shots. All right, VTOL, you can do it. Bring us back into this. Good try, teammate. Oh god, no, no, no! My teammate got lucky by missing that jump. It's another thing they put time into adding in this game, that ledge hang, that means absolutely nothing. It adds nothing to the game. And in fact, it's just an extra seven button presses you have to make to hurdle, because you can't be sure that one is enough. Oh, 15 seconds. What the f- I didn't- Alright, I guess I didn't hear that. Well, that was disappointing. Kill confirm going to the time limit. That's so fucking irritating. I do like that map, though. That is a good map. 13 and 8, 13, 8, even, not a bunch of confirms, which, hey, marksman rifle. Am I supposed to be carrying the team with the confirms? Just saying. All right, let's do Uno more. Let's see if we'll get a good one here. Overall, I would say I do not like this gun. As far as a marksman rifle is concerned, it's, it's not, I'm, I'm not like, oh, this is so terrible. I hate it, but I'm not going to ship me with it. I'm not going to ship me with it. Um... It has almost no strengths, right? Like, to balance a game with weapons, you want them to have strengths and weaknesses, right? Like, a SMG is good up close, not good at further range. A sniper is good at far range, not good up close. Marksman rifles in in Call of Duty and in general <laughs> are not good at any range. They are semi-auto, so they're not good up close. Um, they, same thing for medium range, they're not good up close medium range, even versus SMGs, because SMGs just have more volume of fire. And they're not good at long range, because they have too much recoil. They're not good at close range, they're not good at medium range, they're not good at long range. They got slow ADS in general, so they're not very fast to handle. The one thing that they can mostly do is one-shot headshots, which at that point, there's kind of no point using the marksman rifle. You'd be better off using one of the bolt actions, which will give you the ability to get a one shot, not just in the head, but in more of the body, more consistently. So you'd have slower follow-up shots with those bolt actions, but you wouldn't need as many. So they just are kind of useless. Other than giving you some variety, which is why I like to use them. I don't hate it, because I'm not like, oh, I gotta be super try hard. I gotta be running the, you know, fucking cast off or the Vaznev. I like trying the different weapons. They're a good challenge. One that I have been working on lately is the Bryson 890, which is a garbage shotgun. <laughs> but that makes it its own challenge. It makes it makes it fun trying to do both. All right, we're gonna do my standard opening route. Domination. Okay. Look at faster people showing up down now. There we go. If anyone heard that. This is where I potentially get shot in the bubble. That guy came back, so now he's going to be looking for me, because that's the same guy, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? That got confusing. Team's still not grabbing B. Let's see. Uh, I might. This opening route is a good way to attack B from the rear. Did you hear me? You heard me. Which means he's gonna come looking for me, so I need to change. Oh, was that a call out? I thought I was taking cover. I'm glad that guy didn't turn this way. Hostile, 
Hit marker. <laughs> I found them. Yeah, they're calling out. God damn it, it's a communicating team. That's not good. My team is very much not. This is uh, gonna be one of those stacked games for some reason. Not sure what I did to deserve this game, but alright. That was two hits. How is that not a kill? Oh god, that's where that one shot. Oh, that wasn't even a headshot. I was like, that's where that one shot headshot can save you, but. Is that top? Oh god! No, 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 no. Oh god, I'm stuck on the stairs. <laughs> This is not a good spot to be. They're gonna get a UAV and I'm fucked. Ah! Ah, slow climb. As long as I keep them checking their back for me, it makes it harder for them to push up as I say, as they capture me. Oh my god, how Second did I set of that? Fuck! Don't call me out! AR. STOP CALLING ME OUT! Me and Chase, me and Chase! Oh god, they're whole team! <laughs> huh. How is my team not taking B while I've got three- Like, I have their team occupied back there. What? God damn it! <laughs> that one's on ice. Get it. Oh my god, teammate saved my life. Get me the fuck out of here! Oh, another teammate saved me. What the fuck? Pulling it together, team. Alright. I do not want to be staying here. Really? That second one wasn't a hit at least? Alright, whatever. So now might be the time to push all the way back for C. This would be a good spot for me to have my portable cover. How's that not a kill? Let's see for a second. Are they coming? He's waiting. How? How did that fucking get me through three corners and walls? Oh my god. Thank god that guy's an idiot. Fuck! I have seen so many more of those cluster mines lately, it's fucking irritating. Smart! I mean, they're not like, you know, unfair kill streaks, but Jesus Christ. Come on, team, you need a little bit of map control. I can't do it all. Let's go. You just got a wall of douchebags covering the whole map. Behind me? Who the fuck? What the? Wow! What the absolute fuck? All right, this is time to push this side. They got them all, teammates? Fucking really? And then my team just spawns back here. Great. Great to do that flank for nothing. The, uh, the teachers. Is that a guy there? It's a decoy. Hostile 
No, they're gonna know right where I am. Oh, how are those not on? Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. Why was he looking that way? Why was he looking for me? Was that did he did he get a call out? Is that what that was? That was him stopping and waiting for me? Alright. Oh, I still don't have a deployable cover. Securing objective Charlie. I don't know. <sighs> That's tough. That's tough. I don't know, bro. Be a... I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> yeah. I led the entire game no, no, but, okay. with my marksman okay. rifle. No, 27 out of 11. Like Three captures. Oh, my God. Uh, well, that just goes to show you <laughs> that it's not always the weapon, right? Uh, if you use it right, use the right tactics, use the right map routes. You can, uh, you can make it work. Okay, minions, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can build the Tempest Torrent and use it effectively. Don't don't get any wrong ideas. Don't think it's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a decent assault rifle. But it can be fun, and it can be useful. So, uh, If you guys want to see another good Call of Duty video, my part three of my Night That Destroyed Me has a really hilariously painful moment towards the beginning of it with a riot shield. You'll know it when you see it. Go check that out. I'll link it in the end card. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.